All right, this is a quick video to show you how you can take um, a high uh, quality picture and zoom in it on certain portions of it in Final Cut Pro. Um, so I'll show you how to do that. We're going to use uh, keyframes to do it. And uh, so we're going to start by just, I'm going to grab a really high res image off the internet, look up a mountain picture, and there's one that's uh, 4,000 pixels by 2,000. And, okay, so we're going to grab that. I'm going to let it load. I'm going to download it. So uh, save image as. Throw it on my desktop. We're going to go to Final Cut Pro. And in Final Cut Pro, we are going to import that image to start to our timeline. So I'm going to create a new project. File, new project. And uh, we're going to let it be a 1080p video. And uh, we'll go grab that image I just saved. Here it is on my desktop. And I'm going to throw it here on my timeline. I'm going to stretch it out uh, over, let's say, 15 seconds here. And we're going to zoom in on different parts of the photo. Okay. So what we can do is we'll start by clicking the picture. And you can see there, are, if I look over here, there are different properties we can set of the picture. For example, I can scale it. Um, I can scale just an X or a Y portion of it as well, which actually ruins the aspect ratio. So I don't like to do that depending on the type of image or effect I'm going for, but in this particular case, I'm not going to do that. All right, so what we need to do then is set up special uh, anchors or keyframes in our timeline, and then we can say at each of those keyframes, we want to be zoomed in at a different part. So right now, because I, I, set, um, I scaled my picture a certain percentage here, you can see uh, it, I scaled it right now to 159%. That scales over the whole timeline. We're going to make it so that as we progress through the timeline, we're going to zoom into the boat by halfway and then maybe up to the peak. Okay, does that sound good? We're going to go to the start of the film and we're going to add a keyframe. Um, you can add keyframes for all sorts of things, and, but we're going to add one for a keyframe for position and a keyframe for scale. Okay. And that's our first. So we're going to start there. We're going to say about by about, let's say, let's zoom in on our timeline a little bit. I'm going to use, I'm just going to pinch on my trackpad to do that. So we can just see the whole thing. Okay. So we're going to say by five seconds, we want to be looking at that boat as close as we can. Now, if we zoom too much, of course, it will pixelate and look ugly. Um, so we got to sort of work within the constraints of the size of our photo the higher megapixel the photo, the better or the more you can zoom in. But I'm going to go ahead on my timeline, click around five seconds, and I'm going to uh, add another keyframe for position and scale. And now I'm going to change those properties. So I'm going to start by trying to center the boat as best I can. The way I like to do this is the Y axis is the up and down, just like in math of the picture and the x-axis is the left and right. I like to just click on this number here and you can actually, once you've clicked, you can push up or down. Now you can see I can only change that y by so much before we have a black border appearing on the bottom. See that? So I'm going to change that, but then I'm going to scale here as well. And I'll go back and scale my y again. And maybe I'll grab the x and I push left to right on the x-axis. And that looks good. It doesn't look too pixelated. I'm going to push the full screen button for a second. And it looks pretty good. Doesn't look too bad, eh? Uh, sometimes once you, um, you know, push play, you got to wait a sec to see the picture clear up. I'm going to push escape. And let's see what it's done. So you can see, as I scrub along my timeline from zero to five seconds, it pans into the boat. Okay? Now we're going to make it by 10 seconds, we're going to have it looking at the top, the peak of the mountain. So I'm going to click here on 10 seconds, and you can see between 5 and 10 seconds, as I scrub along my timeline, nothing changes, right? Because we haven't told it to do anything else. So we'll click here on 10 seconds, and we'll add another keyframe for both position and scale. And now I'm going to change only the position this time. So we'll go along our X and up our Y. Again, I'm just clicking those numbers and dragging. Okay. And why don't we change the scale a little bit? We'll zoom out a little bit as well. And you can see 
that black frame appeared at the top. So we're going to zoom out, but also pull, make sure that the, the black frame never appears. Okay, does that make sense? And uh, so let's see what that looks like. So it's, it goes from our boat up to the peak of the mountain. So, so far we are going from here to there, to the peak of the mountain. And then by the end, let's have the entire photo in frame. Okay, so I go right again to the end here. And again, I'm gonna add a keyframe for position and scale. And I'm gonna bring my scale to 100% or very close. My photo might not be the exact same shape as my frame. So I'm gonna show the whole picture, but without the borders, or if, you know what, if you want an artistic effect, I think it's not horrible to have some black borders as we zoom out. And let's just reposition this so we can see a little more of that boat. It is a very wide photo, so I think we'll end up with some black borders and that's okay. All right, so that's it. So check it out. I scrub back on my timeline here, hit play, and you'll see it'll go from here to the boat, to the peak of the mountain, and back to zoomed out. So you can do that with any photo, dragging it into your timeline. You can create these keyframes. So we're sort of wandering around the photo, looking at the whole thing, drawing people's attention to whatever it is we want them to notice. I hope that makes sense.